Hi beautiful, I'm so glad you can make it. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And our very last Halloween spotlight challenge for this year is Day of the Dead. And our spotlight queen is Miss Sweet Tea Nails. So today I decided to pull out my red iguana acro gels to um, play with because I haven't used them in a while. So, um, and I miss them so much. I forgot how much I love them. I like really, really love them. Like I want to take up stock and it puts the lotion on its skin type love. That's how much I love it. And I'm not playing. Um, anyway, so um, I got my red iguana acro gel and I did all five fingers and I had no idea what I've been beating myself up all week because of this set. Like I had no idea what I wanted to do. I couldn't. I looked at pictures. I watched videos and I couldn't find anything that I wanted to do. So when I sat down to do this set, I had I still had no idea what I was going to do. So, yeah, I was just winging it. So, um, y'all just wing it with me and we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's talk about Miss Sweet Tea Nails. She is the one that created this spotlight challenge group for us, and she is a total genius. Um, she is so artistic and funny and nice, and I feel like I've made a lifelong friend with her. Um, There's really nothing that I could put into words that can really explain to you just how much of a good person she is. I feel like if I called, she would be there, you know, and she would do any, and not just for me, but for anybody I think that, um, you know, that she loves. And she's such an awesome person. And um, I definitely think that you should go check her out if you haven't already. Um, and yeah show her some love she completely deserves it and i mean i i can't say enough good things about her she's just awesome so go check her out you won't regret it i promise do it do it do it do it
Okay, so this is filed and buffed, and I decided I was going to go in with uh, my Enel Couture alcohol inks. I had never used them, and I've been having them for like six months or a year, so I was like, hmm, let me try, because like I said, I had no idea what I was doing. I'm still just winging it here. Um, so I had looked at the colors that were mostly used when people would do Day of the Dead nails. It was like reds, pinks, oranges, and um, like yellow and purple. Um, so I was going to try to do like those colors and just see what happens. So um, I uh, just played around, really. I just played around and yeah, so let's watch and see how it goes. So all I really do when I'm playing with these inks is I put on a color down or I put the colors down where I want them and then I go in with a clean brush with some alcohol and I kind of just dab it and make little designs or take color off and then add color and I do that until I think it looks okay. I don't think there's really any rules to using alcohol inks so if there is i don't know about them so but yeah i just um play with it until i think it looks okay and um then i'm gonna um i did it in like this like half nail thing because i wanted to use some gold flakes also so yeah let's finish watching and see how it turns out
Okay, so I'm going to put my gold flakes around the edges just to kind of hide that, you know, ugly part. And then I'm going to put my clear red iguana acro gel on top and move on to the next finger. Okay, I'm sorry, I had totally forgot to press record when I did the um, pinky finger. I'm very sorry, but here's the thumb. Um, I pretty much do the same thing. I just uh, put the inks and I play with it. Um, I go back and forth from the inks to my brush with alcohol and I just play with it until I think it looks okay. And uh, then I move on to the next step. Okay, and I left this little part in to show you that if you get, like it can get messy, but you can clean it up with just some clean alcohol. And now I'm putting some base coat gel on the edges of my little slant to put my um, gold foil on those two nails. And then uh, I will also clear cap those nails.
okay i need y'all to really watch how easy this is to work with like i don't want you to feel like i'm pushing this stuff on you but i kind of am like this stuff is so awesome like i cannot even stop saying that enough like i love using this stuff it's it doesn't stick to your brush it doesn't dry fast like acrylic so you could actually have time to work with it but like you barely even have to shape it like it's awesome like you don't have to really file much nothing it's just it makes everything so much easier i love it so if you haven't tried it try it and let me know if you like it Now I found two water decals um, and I just cut them out and I'm going to stick them on this nail and put some gold flakes around it and call that my day of the dead set. Um, like I said, I didn't know how this was going to turn out. I just um, went with it and I know it's not that day of the dead, but they they cute or whatever. So, uh yeah, I'm going to let y'all finish watching and uh, I'll pop back in to say bye.
so now it's time to make everything shiny uh so i'm going in with my uh lg and nail shiny top coat it's my favorite top coat at the moment and uh yeah so before i go i wanted to remind you to go check out the other ladies especially sweet tea nails um go check out all of their videos and um show them some love Everybody worked so hard this year on the um, Halloween collab, and we had so much fun, and I'm so thankful. For, this was my first one, and I'm so thankful, and now we're getting ready for the Christmas collab, and um, I'm excited. I love doing this, but um, yeah, you guys, go check out the other, other ladies. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you all so much for all of the love and support that you have given all of us throughout this challenge. Um, you guys are the best. And I just, I thank all of you so much. Okay, bye guys.